Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to talk to you guys about setting little heavy duty snaps into your leather working. So I'm going to get the camera turned around so y'all can see what I'm doing and we'll get started. So here we have the materials that we'll need for um, setting snaps into our leather working. These are Dritz brand snaps, but you can also get them from Tandy Leather. Like, there's quite a few different brands out there on the market. Um, there'll be links for all the tools and materials down, like, boop, boop, in the video description below. This is the setter that came with these snaps. And it will get the job done, but it's not preferable. <laughs> um, the reason why I don't like... Um, this one is because the tool is so short, it gives you a very limited amount of space to hold on to it. In addition to whenever I'm hammering, I hit my knuckles a lot. Um, sorry, I have filthy hands from paint and stuff. Um, so, uh, again, that, that one will get the job done. It comes with the kit. But if you're able to, I highly recommend investing in something more along these lines. This has um, a much longer handle which gives you a lot of you know room to be able to control stability you can hammer all day long without hitting your finger unless you like full-on miss and then the little pestle or anvil this is the anvil and that's the pestle I guess I don't know um <laughs> is you can see it's nice and concave and so you can see that would sit just real nicely it's accommodating to a lot of different sizes um, like this, these two pieces, you'll be able to set any eyelet or rivet that you get. Um, well, not eyelet, uh, set, like rivet or snap, that's what these are called. Sorry, eyelets take something completely different. Um, <laughs> we'll talk more about that in another video. But you can see it sets nicely, and that way you'll set it on your surface, and you, you know, we'll get into that here in a minute. But we also have, this was a, a set that I had purchased... Um, and it comes with, you can see a small, medium, and large, small, medium, and large, um, setters, but again, you can see they have a much shorter handle, so the different size tips are necessary for setting smaller, um, snaps, but I really love the long handles. And then this one, you can see they set very securely. And these are sized to accommodate the different sizes that Tandy Leather carries. Which, they seem pretty universal, though. So whenever you're setting a snap, these are the pieces that you'll come across. Um, we have a male and a female end. So this would lay like that. And that center part gets riveted down, like hammered down, and it'll kind of roll up on itself and secure everything together. And this one will go over this one. Again, you hammer and it settles all down, and then this one will snap into that one. I do not recommend snapping them together before they have their ends and leather on them, because it's really hard to get them apart um, without having, because there's nothing really to hold on to. So I'm just going to pull these apart, and you would sandwich the leather between this piece and this piece. See how they come together? Right in that little space there where it closes is where you want your leather to be sandwiched. So whenever you're purchasing snaps, um, you want to make sure that this neck here, you know, this little tube, will fit all the way through your leather. Because if I were using a leather like this one, you can see, yeah, that'll do the trick. But if I were using a leather like this one mm, it might not you know so and certainly not on something like this one you see it's way too thick so we'd have to you know look specifically or you could take something to shave your leather down now also it's not real specific about which side you have which on I personally prefer it like this where this larger snap goes on this end and then this one stays on the other end. But that's just the way I like my stuff to go. Um, so experiment and 
see what you prefer. These snaps are not particularly expensive, so you know you can. I, I do recommend doing your first couple on like a piece of scrap leather, um, just you know to get the hang of it. If it's your first time setting snaps, that way um, you're not ruining you know your masterpiece, something that you've put hours of you know time and energy and effort into, um, you know, just to have it like be ruined with this one finishing spot. So here I have a project that I had done and I'm ready to put the snaps on it. And you want your tube there to be able to feed through the hole. So this hole is way too small. So I'm coming through, the way I test it is I take the tube and I take my hole punch and I kind of line it up and I'm like, yeah, that would fit. So I'm just gonna line that up on the cutting mat. I'm gonna come off to the side so I don't hit my tripod. There we go. There we go. And so now I'm going to feed, and this one is flat backed, this part is. So I'm just gonna do it here on the uh, granite. I'm not gonna worry about having it in a setter or anything. So I'm just feeding it through the back. And I do like to keep a really nice snug fit onto between the tube and the leather. Um, that way I don't want my snaps like twisting around on me. And so now you can see it's coming through just like that. And I'm just gonna lay this over and I'm gonna lay it flat. And I'm going to bring this camera up quite a bit. That way hopefully I don't hit it. <laughs> Cause I am really bad about hitting <laughs> the tripod with my hammer whenever I get into this. I'm going to use my preferred tool and you can see it just nestles right down in there. To get you a close up of this one, it's gonna sit like this. And we're gonna hammer and do this motion as it comes down because we want this to um, set evenly. Just like that. That's the front, that's the back. And now to make this belt adjustable, I'm actually going to be doing two of the back side on it because you never know whenever you're making something for sale who's going to want to wear it. So make sure you have the same sides. If you decide to have the female end on this one, make sure you have it on this one as well because otherwise, you know, the female ends won't, won't snap together. And so I'm just going to put this through right there We're wandering off camera good job Vaughn um, just feeding that through setting this over run my seriously oh there it is okay <laughs> it's like I literally just had it and I'm just using my rawhide ham mallet and I probably whack it more than I need to but I want to make sure it's on there so there we are and those are set and so now for the other side of this I'm going to be punching a hole and having it to where it will overlay and this is something that's going to be very specific and unique to your project but the techniques are still the same so I'm lining up where my holes gonna be hammering there's our hole And now this is the fun part. You want to make sure that the front one goes on the correct side. And so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to set our anvil on the back side. Making sure everything's all lined up. And I'm going to set this right over that. Just rummage around until I find my tool. And we're setting that, kind of testing out, making every, making sure everything's where it needs to be. Just like that. No movement, no wiggling. So let's test this out. Well, you hear a little bit going on, but it gives you... Why, why are you wiggling? That's just the nature of the snap, the way that it's built. So we can take this and put them together. Let's 
snap, folds really nicely, and then just snaps right off. I wouldn't recommend a snap like this for something that's really load bearing, but this is a decorative cosplay belt, um, or costume belt, so I think it'll be alright. So I'm going to repeat that same thing on the other side, that way it will snap nice and evenly. But I really like doing this because you can, yeah, you, know, you could set snaps all the way down if you needed to, to make it very adjustable in between different people in your group or, you know, if you have friends that you costume with. Um, so yeah. Hey y'all, so thanks for hanging out with me for this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful to you. This is how it came out. Something that I really like about snaps is they do offer a kind of hinge point. Like you can see the way that the front and back of this belt come together. And that may be something that you do want if it's something that you don't want. Don't want. The way I would recommend um, fixing that is either having a strap on the inside that these could tuck through. Like kind of like a belt keeper. Or I've got all these snaps here on the inside for making it adjustable. Just put a second snap a little further in and that way you can have two points of contact and that'll keep it from going like this for you if that's a thing that you don't want but if you want like a hinged visor <laughs> that might be the thing to uh, to try out um, also you can use snaps with foam smithing but I don't recommend it for like you got to be real careful because it'll rip out of that foam so you might maybe back it with some leather or something to give it a little bit more stability but yeah so that's how the belt came out if you guys like this belt i actually will <laughs> uh i actually sell a template for it on my etsy also you can get access to all of my digital downloadable content by becoming a ten dollar or more patron so um like you pledges start on our patreon at just a dollar a month and you get all kinds of behind the scenes and exclusive access to all kinds of stuff um but especially for the ten dollars and not being able to get your hands on those templates because you can just print them off you can resize them however you like and you can i mean just use them for days sell whatever you make with them and stuff it's just i hope that um if people ask you oh my gosh how'd you make this spread the learning you know redirect them back to whatever resources you used to learn how to do the project and um just make it as available to them as i'm trying to make it to you guys because that's the goal here <laughs> and also all of your pledges on patreon do go towards supporting the artists and education efforts that we do here um our daily tutorials um the different uh workshops that i teach whenever we're traveling to conventions so uh yeah so i really appreciate all of y'all's support and even if you're not able to become a patron, uh, just watching the video and enjoying it, maybe liking and subscribing if you're into that, um, that's a huge thanks for that as well because that does a lot more than you know. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. There's links to my Facebook, Instagram, all sorts of stuff down below. And then maybe popping up on... No, nope, there might not be anything popping up on the screen. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Bye guys, happy crafting! <laughs>